Well, doing some static grass tricks. It may not look the best, but I got it. And some bare spots, I put a little bit of dab of glue and got some high erosions, which I'm just gonna leave all that, make it look more realistic. And I had to cut some of my deer grass out of it, so I set my house there. This, I'm just gonna leave it all grassy up. It may be a little bit tall, but I don't care at the moment, because, yeah, I don't like taking my razor knife and getting rid of all that. It's just too much work, so I'm just gonna leave it. I did this part. I should have just left it and just <laughs> left it as that. But now, this side is all nicely done. Oh man, this does look nice. With this studded grass. And all this is, is, I believe, yeah, four millimeter. It's all what it really is. Harmonious Scenic, but I got this on Train Road. And you can get it, where is, right there is the item number. Made in China. Huh. Well, how they made this stuff? It's pretty sweet. The glue on your hand. For static grass. This stuff freaking sucks. But it makes it stand up. So you can definitely tell that's different. Some of these parts are different. I got grass now. Kind of got a little bit of grass there. I don't like the real life we will have. So that looks pretty sweet. So I have grass. So you can see it goes all the way up to about right here. That's where I stopped it. So what I'm gonna have to do is put some ballast, cut this a little bit even with this part here, and then put a little bit of ballast work. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue and then sprinkle my stone on top, melt, and then Put a little bit of glue on top of it with some IB soap alcohol to really soak it a little bit and it makes it stay down. And then the switch here, I'm not doing anything to it. It's going to be like it is. I'm going to try to get it more with some of this cork. I'm going to slice it in there. And then that's it. I'm not putting no. I might put a little bit of stone. Maybe on the side here. I don't know yet. I might just like it. I might just leave it. And just kind of. Brace it up with the cork and that's it. Because I don't want to know. In this case, I already need to replace the switch. I can do it. But, for to do, this grass is a lot easier to work with. Because I'll have to use this kapow like that. Done. And then I got my little car washing in there. My depot. My other building. My farm building. Back to the supply. Roller King. Uh, big R stuff like that. Those kind of companies would be pretty sweet. I got a little cabin and a house right next to it. It's pretty cool. Like maybe like a little children's playhouse, something like that. And then I got my gas station, some factories. I got more grass. I had to fill in this a little bit. And that's probably about it. My might put some static grass in this area or some bushes actually. Kind of give it that more wow factor. It looks better. Honestly, it does look better. I might just paint this in brown and call that good. Because I don't feel like having grass and everything on my floor. So I'm going to try to get as best I can, get rid of this plaster, some of this plaster, and paint it all brown, make it look like dirt, and go from there. And I still gotta do grass here yet, and over here in this part. So that's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, that goes to my big boy. I have to take that back off again. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of static grass in the middle of these tracks, and a little bit on the side. Just kind of give it that more wow factor. Gotta get my campers in place. So far, everything is about the same. Oh wow, the sun really. Did effect on this. This looks like real grass. <laughs> it was honestly this. Wow, the sun faded the grass. Because <laughs> when I first did it, it didn't look like that. 
why it and then this has got static grass over this because I mixed it with um the turf grass which I might actually do that when I get down here do this stuff right here and then over here I'm still kind of working getting this all set up this is a little fun time to do so and then I got some new plastic glass I'm gonna put up because this stuff is just too flimsy and if I lean too forward it's pushing on the building it's gonna I'm afraid it's gonna break all my street lights later on so that is no ideal or ideal but I gotta clean this up get this all backing up so I can do my ballast work in here and get this track all ballast in as well because I haven't done it yet since everything else so that way I can go in here and then do my grass work because you always want to do the ballast and then the grass because the grass doesn't soak in the uh, I say up or the alcohol and all that stuff that way it looks better and I have some more ideas for my amusement park I already got Godzilla over there and resin I have a few other surprises up my sleeve and also I am going to print something that is from my childhood one of my favorite movies when I grew up it came out in 1999 if you don't know what that is then you just have to wait till I get it printed out to be awesome hopefully I have the right size I haven't really figured that one out hopefully I got the right size I just guessed and I made them look cool so that's gonna be pretty awesome and then I have another guy going with Godzilla I found Kong hopefully he comes out the right size I don't know how tall he's gonna be I had to make it where it fits on my resin printer because resin's almost easier but it does it's a little bit heavier this probably weighs geez maybe it almost feels like a pound like one pound is what it feels like but anyway that's enough chit chatting for today stay tuned for more updates